Notion subtasks. There are so many different ways you could go about doing this, some of them outside of a database, some of them inside of a database. So what I thought I'd do is share some of the more common uses, some of the less common uses, and how you can make tasks dependent on one another. Stick around and I'll tell you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. Now depending on how you have your Notion set up will depend on which way you choose to do subtasks. If you have a task list that is just using tick boxes, the best way I think to actually use subtasks is by tabbing tick boxes over. So when you are creating a tick box or a checkbox, you can push the tab key on your keyboard and you tab that task over. Now what you've done is you've nested that block inside of the block above. So whenever you move that top task, the bottom subtasks also move with it. Another way you could do this is actually by housing your subtasks in a toggle block. So again, you can make that first task and underneath that task, you can create a toggle block that has other subtasks inside of it. Then once you've finished making all of those subtasks, you can tab that toggle block over and now you've nested the toggle block inside of that first task. So you can see as we move that task, you move the toggle block and inside the toggle block, you have all of the subtasks. And you could even go further with this, so you could have a subtask of a subtask if you really wanted to, and because it's all nested in that same block, whenever you move them, you'll move all of them at one time. Now many of you that are comfortable with Notion probably have a master task database. It's definitely something that I would suggest most people having when using Notion. Firstly, you could have a text property and have your subtasks potentially as a list in a text property of that task. Or you could have them in a multi-select property because you may have subtasks that you'll do for specific tasks and that may happen over and over again. So you may just want to select those specific subtasks for whatever task you're doing. And of course you could use a select property if you only had one subtask. Alternatively, because you're using a database, you could just go into the task page of the database and then add in those subtasks as to-do blocks. And again, because this is a page, you can then tab those subtasks across so you could have subtasks in subtasks. Another thing you could use in databases is the template button. So if you know there are certain subtasks that you're going to be doing over and over again for different tasks, you can create a template inside of the page with those subtasks already there. You can then nest some of those subtasks together and then tick them off when those subtasks are done. Then when you create a new task in that task database and you click on the template, all of those subtasks are now regenerated unchecked because they're brand new. Now a more advanced way of doing subtasks is actually making them dependent on the task beforehand. So we're going to use an advanced feature in Notion called a relation. We're going to relate the database to itself. What that means is we can relate each page in the database to itself. And what we want is we want two different relation properties to show so we can have a to and from column. Now when we go into the database and we go into that relation, we could relate the same task to itself if we really wanted to, but I don't think that's really useful. So you can see task one is going to task one and is from task one. Now that probably doesn't make sense. So a better use case for this would be say we have task one and task one is going to go to task two. So now we can see task one is followed by task two and you can see task two now is from task one. Then when we go into task two, we can say task two goes to task three. Now you can see in task three, that's from task two. So when we go into that task page, you can see what task was before it and what task is after it. And again, you can fill those pages with any piece of information because that's the way Notion works. If you want to learn more about the master task database and how you can track all of your tasks in one place, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.